and what you can do with that is you can set it alongside the chain mail that you've already made and you just start stitching these things together you can't mess it up you can manhandle this chain however much you want all you need to do is make sure that when you lay it out it's not twisted okay and it's easy to untwist you just need to lay it the right way and it will fall nicely and you'll be able to uh, start stitching it together you get a good angle on the stitching here this is probably the easiest kind of stitch that you'll do um, just the way that the rings fall makes it really easy. You just line it up and there's two empty holes in four rings that don't have an inner ring. And you just take one and you stick it through that hole and stick it through the other hole coming back around. And uh, probably still don't have a good angle on that. I'm going to change it. Make sure that the next one you can really see what I'm doing. So, what you want to do is you just want to take the two rings, one on the uh, leading edge of your chain that you just made, one on the bottom edge of what you already have. You just want to line them up until there's a gap right here and right here. You got four rings that do not have a connecting ring. And you take an open ring and you feed it through one hole uh, and you go around to the back of the other hole and then you just pull it through it's a really easy weave once you get the hang of it, and then you just close it up. Okay. And just the way that these things line up, it actually gets really easy and fun to do this. You just need to get the hang of it and it's a lot quicker if you have a good angle on it which I don't anyway my point is this other method that you can use gives you what you want but it's time consuming all this chain mail was produced in two nights what you need to know is that chain mail is time consuming and it's also not cheap. Your materials and your time, it's usually a better deal to just buy some chain mail. But if you want something to be proud of, if you want something to do in your free time that other people think is kind of cool, um, if you want to get back to the roots, you should make your own. It's, there's nothing like it, just the feel of your own creation. Um, but if you're going out just to save money, keep in mind it's a pain in the ass and it's not really going to save you a whole lot of money in the long run. All you're producing is this chain. It's two one two one two one two one. You just take your clover pattern, right? Your four and one. And you take any two rings, any two, and you get another one, and you take any two rings on that, and you just feed a ring 
through those. Okay? And it's super easy to do. You know? It's just like the first step. And then you close that together. And that will save you having to stitch your uh, clover patterns together on the top, bottom, um, left, and right. Instead, you already have the left and right taken care of. You'll just need to stitch it on the top and the bottom. So that is going to save people a lot of time. I haven't heard anyone use that technique before and it's just so obvious to me. And if anybody knows how to improve it, please let me know because I'm making this chainmail too and I've done a lot of stuff to try to speed up the process, but you know, still pretty time consuming. All right, thanks for uh, watching through this whole thing. It's pretty amazing that you've gotten this far. Have a good night.